everybody. I want to remind you all to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed as yet, like the video, share the video, especially to those who are interested in learning basic IT as well as EDPM. Share it with those persons who are, go who are in grade 10 and will be going into grade 11. Please, I'm asking you kindly to watch the ads when they do come up. Like I've been telling you from the other day, they count. So please assist me as I assist you. Now today we will be looking at how we create an organization chart. And how do we use the colors to, you know, be creative. How we use the different features, colored features and background, etc. To get it looking lovely and creative. So what you see on the screen is one that we will be recreating. Now we're going to be using smart art to create this organization chart. Smart art is basically a built-in feature in Microsoft Word that allows you to create different charts, hierarchy charts, flow charts, and the list goes on. You can also create it from scratch but that you will have to go into shapes, flow charts on the shapes to get that done. Next week, Tuesday, I will look at how we create it from scratch. But today, we're going to be using smart art to create this organization chart that you see on your screen. Now, we're going to be opening a Word document, of course. And how do we get to smart art? We click on the insert tab, then smart art. Now, if you notice, smart art has a lot of graphics in it. It has um, charts that give you it in list form, process form, cycle form, hierarchy form, which is what we're going to be using to create our organization chart, relationship matrix pyramid picture and you can get from online as well so we're going to be looking at an hierarchy chart to create our own now let us glimpse on the one that we are going to be creating and let us look to see which of them matches what we want this look like the one so we're going to be clicking on it and we're going to click on insert so once you click on insert, a template of the one that you did, the design that you choose will come up. All right. So, yes, look at it. You can see that we chose the correct one. The only difference is that below it, you have additional boxes. And we are going to be looking at how we add more boxes to our template. All right. So for the first part of it, we should have senior pastor so let us go back to our document and we're going to be clicking inside of the box and we're going to type senior pastor all right let us look again to see what else we need we need assistant pastor below that so that's this box here and we're going to type assistant pastor let's take a look again we need to have executive pastor of ministries so that's this box here executive pastor of ministries and then for the box beside it church administrator and then facilities manager so church administrator in this box and in this box we're going to put facilities manager all right Alright, so that's what we have so far. Now, the 
if we look again we will realize that we need additional boxes how do we get those additional boxes that's what we're going to look at now so we need a box under executive pastors pastor of ministries so we're going to show you how you do that so the, we need it below this box so we're going to right click on this on this box and then add shape and then shape below and then you will have another box there so what we're going to type in there is men's ministry leader so we're going to type men's ministry leader all right then you'll have accounting finance team so that's going to be below this box so you have to right click on that box add shape add shape below and you will have let me remind myself accounting slash finish finance team accounting slash finance team all right and below facilities manager we should have on campus fa facilities so you're going to right click on the box where we want the shape to go below so we go to add shape add shape below and then that should have on campus facilities on campus facilities of course you can feel free to pause and type if you need to practice this but basically it's the same thing that you would do for children's ministry leader congregational care leader other facilities leader just the same procedure so since you want one below here you'll have to right click on that one and then select add shape and add shape below and you'll see a box come up where you can type children's ministry leader and it is the same thing wherever you want a new box you have to right click on that box that you want it below and do the same all right so you'll do that until you are finished creating this document What if you needed more assistant roles? Say for argument's sake, under senior pastor, you needed another assistant, different from assistant pastor. You would right click on senior pastor box, go to add shape, and you would say add assistant. And there you go. And you could put Administri administration assistant or whatever it is that you want to put there so I'm just showing you how you could put an assistant box or add an assistant box to your organization chart so what if you wanted to delete a box for argument's sake say you wanted to delete on campus facilities box you would click on that box and then hit the delete key and it will be gone all right now there are some other things that you can do to make your organization chart pretty or creative let me not use the word pretty but creative all right so what you would do for argument sake suppose you want to change the color you would go under smart art tools and design and then under design you would look for change colors so you could change it to orange and yellow you could basically choose the one that you like so when you click on that drop down arrow that I just clicked on you will see different designs and color even 3d's that you can use to change and make it look more creative 
all right you can look in here as well where i'm at and you can choose the one that you like the one that is best for you all right so this is the one that we're using the blue one um i'm gonna just change it for argument's sake just a little let it look a little creative all right what if we want to change the layout we could go to format right on the smart tools and then we will see the different options that you can choose from shape fill we could select maybe a, a, a full color maybe we could select a gradient color maybe we could select a picture to go in the background maybe you could select a texture you know just to make it look a little more you know appealing let me just select that for for the time being so of course you can do a myriad of things to you know let your organization chart looks look appealing and creative you could also change the text you could select different text um, styles I don't know do you like this nah nah let me change it to this one nah but you could select one that you like you could always select one that you like all right so let me just go back to this one just for now all right so you can basically do a myriad of things you can always just browse through and see what else you can do to make it look creative all right so guys this is where i end today's lesson i hope you have learned and of course if you have any question please put it in the comment box and before i go i must remind you to subscribe if you have not subscribed before and like the videos share the videos and please remember to watch the ads it counts help me as i help you Bye guys, see you next week Thursday, uh, Tuesday when I will look at how to create an organization chart from scratch using shapes, flowcharts under shapes. Bye guys.